extremist monk sparks outrage by asking Hindus to K-I-L-L Muslims and Christians. Okay, let me start off this segment by saying, dear YouTube, let us all pray to the YouTube gods right now, everyone raise your hands. Dear YouTube gods, we are not talking, we are not promoting violence against any group of individuals. We are merely talking about other people that are saying dangerous things and we are talking about this so that we can condemn them and prevent other people from holding these ideas and spreading them themselves. This is firmly against any hate speech and we are talking about it for the purposes of education and raising awareness. Okay, now that we have said our prayer to the YouTube gods, let us talk about this story. <laughs> okay. On February 5th at Delhi's uh, Jantar Mantar, various Hindu Hindutva groups organized events where calls for killing Muslims and Christians were made. A video of the event went viral on social media where a Hindu spiritual leader uh, whose name is uh, Devendra, no, Devendra Krishna Shastri is seen urging the Hindu community to take up arms and kill Muslims and Christians. He asked, quote, when will you slay and kill after all of you die? When will you kill them? When will you kill Muslims and Christians? He oh my okay well, i think we need to i think we need yeah. to again say youtube i think at this point we need to again cut this here and tell youtube again that this is just the news we are against any form of violence and we condemn this this is evil we do not stand for this we're just reporting what the, the we what's happening on the news and we're trying to bring attention to a problematic issue okay exactly we're not okay so um, okay go ahead we're going to have to say that a third time after this next quote. <laughs> um, oh, no. he, urged, he urged the Hindus to have access to weapons at all times in their homes and kill anyone who would, quote unquote, attack them. Keep Shastra arms in your in one hand. And Shastra, I can't pronounce it the different ways, but um, Shastra, religious scriptures in the other. It's like a play on words. Whoever attacks our community, our scriptures, our mothers, our sisters, convict them of sedition and shoot them at the border. Kill them on the roads, the monk said. YouTube, uh. once again, this is the quote of someone who we are condemning. We yes. do not stand for this. We are against it. Okay. Stop it. Don't stop you. Although no legal actions were taken. This, so this is so crazy. Although no legal actions were taken against any event speakers, a note issued by the Delhi police, excuse me, a notice was issued by the Delhi police against Molotix, an online portal, who, portal that reported on these events. On, uh, on Anudeep Jagalan, the founder and director of Molotix, replied to the Delhi forces in a tweet about the notice saying, I'm still confused. Why would you send this to us? I hope such a notice must have gone to these saffron clad criminals too. So just to clarify that legal action was not taken against the people openly inciting violence, but against the journalists that reported it. What? Should I repeat that? Yes. They did not take action against the person inciting violence, but against the journalist agency that reported on it, shared a video of it. Is this, are you sure this is not Iran? We're talking India. This is India. This is not yeah, Iran. Yeah, yeah, this is in Delhi. Okay. Okay. Just check, just checking to make sure that arresting journalists for reporting the news is they weren't something. arrested they were issued a notice okay oh damn it the lights keep on turning off automatically in here sorry it's okay this is so wild this is so wild like one of the people on our team sent this to me as a news suggestion and i it's just like i what do you even say i think i were like replied something along the lines of like this dude has no chill like you think of monks monks are supposed to be like 
you know, finding nirvana. They're supposed to be like blissed out. They're supposed to be like non-attached. They're supposed to, you know, like have sources of wisdom that transcends, you know, our own ego. And this is, guys, the complete reverse of that. Like, I have seen so much, some some of the most extremely hateful things I have ever heard of, ever, have come from Hindu monks. Like, what is, I, I, I just don't even know what to say. I really don't even know what to say. Armin, I mean, what is your reaction? I mean... <laughs> Well, Mohsen Khan in the live chat is saying, thanks to our beloved Modi, India has become much, much more like a fascist, intolerant, religious, fanatic, authoritative regime. Yes, and this is supposed to be the largest secular democracy in the world. Yes, this is, if you're not Indian and you think this is an Indian issue, you are wrong. The world's largest secular democracy having both its democ democratic and secular values being threatened this is a threat to the planet this is a step backwards for the planet not just for the not just for india so you have to take this very very seriously we did get a yeah hmm? i will read the super chat but it's not related to the news so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait until we're done uh there's a comment by prometheus in which state is this again um this have well delhi what what state is delhi in I, let me double check. I can't remember off the top of my head. All right. Um, Prometheus is also saying, at least we don't like... Uh, okay, I did, Okay. so this is actually a very good point. Prometheus is making fun of the people who say every time we criticize Hinduism, uh, there are some Hindu people who are like, they come and say, some, some Hindu apologists who come and say, at least we don't behead people, at least we don't kill people. Well, you don't have that excuse anymore. Oh, Delhi is union territory. People are saying in the live chat. Yeah, well, Delhi is its own state, I think, as well. Like, it's a city and a, a, a union territory. No, no, it's it's kind of, it's doesn't... It, I, th I think it's like Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Washington, D.C. is not a state. It's its own thing. Yeah. Um, Katie's saying, I remember reading about a bill or law which basically said that all journalism needs to be approved by the government, so there goes free press out of the window. God help um, us. Yes. So let me actually. Oh, wait, I want to make a very important correction. The person that said this was not Devendra Krishna Shastri, but the event was held in support of him. So I want to clarify that he wasn't the one that actually said that. All right. So because that's an important correction. One Night Heathen is saying, are other Hindus condemning this monk? Have you seen condemnations? I'm assuming there is. Like, I mean, first of all, you, the answer to this, even without me checking, is yes, probably yes. India is a big country. Like, of course, you're going to find Hindus condemning this. But was it, like, the question is, like, how how much are, like, is it, like, is it a big thing? Or is it, like, not that big? Um, but, yeah, I'm sure many Hindus will be condemning this. Of course. I mean, no, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could find millions of Hindus condemning this. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.